Patty and Frank show. Thank you for joining us. If you're just now uh, joining the show, in studio with us, we have uh, none other than uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd. How oh. you doing, man? I'm good, man. Glad to be here. Now, when you look at Heidi, do you feel like you're looking in a mirror? <laughs> no, man. Look at the hair. I very, yeah, see the very, everything else. I was watching some older videos yeah. of you and you yeah. had the longer hair going. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that looks like Heidi in high school. Yeah, you know what's funny is, uh, <laughs> is I cut my hair back in like 2000, 2001, so it's been almost 12 years. But some of my fans are still mourning the loss of the hair. They do that. Hair is a big deal. Like, I can't believe you cut your hair, man. And then a lot of the women uh, fans are constantly hitting me up on Facebook. Every time I'm like, oh, I got my hair cut, they're like, man, please grow your hair back out. You know. I mean, I guess at a certain uh, certain age, and it's not like you're an old guy or like that. But at a certain age, it's like you know, you gotta you gotta get, you can still do the the guitar and the blues and the rock thing and have short hair and be cool. Yeah. Well, it's much lower maintenance. You know. Because my hair was real. I have naturally curly hair. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I saw that video you were talking about yesterday. Yeah. And out of control. Yeah, and I used <laughs> to try and... Uh, I liked it straight when it was long, you know? So it was like I had to blow dry it, iron it, or whatever, you know, to get it straight. And every day yeah. you're like, God, I'm like a chick. Yeah. I gotta cut this stuff. Exactly. It's ridiculous. Yeah, where's yeah. all the pictures of you <laughs> in, in the bathroom <laughs> with a straight iron? It's like, oh, look how cool I am. Actually, I had Noah do that yeah, for me. Oh. I've got some pictures. So. See, that's a pal right there. <laughs> yeah, you brought uh, Noah Hunt in here with you. He's uh, with the, the lead uh, vocalist for your yeah. for your band. Yeah. And I gotta say, Frank, I know you were out and you were, you were in the Bristol I was in there chowing eating. down on turkey and cranberry I sauce. S- I stayed behind because I just love this. It's my, like, my favorite. And you you know Hunt. I mean, amazing voice. Just amazing. Thank you. Oh, how long, I can't how wait. How long have you guys known each other and hooked up together? So you've been playing for, what, over a decade now? Yeah, 15 years. I'm at 16. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, is it... Longer than a lot of marriages. Exactly. Longer than, than my marriage. Longer than a lot of rock bands, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's <too>. true. <laughs> it's like Frank and I. We're together 12 years or 12 something crazy. years. Oh, yeah? Oh, so. I, I, I still want to kill her, don't you? I mean, <laughs> so, at some point, you guys just like separate buses and stuff. And, you know. No, man. We're, we're, we're yeah, really we do close. it old school. Yeah, we're like... Yeah, Cause you guys have been like this tour that you're currently on. This is going to be the last show at Nokia Theater for the whole tour, right? Yeah. Yes. Eighteen months. Aren't you kind of yeah, glad yeah. though? It's like you can go home and just rest and sit on the couch and get caught up on Netflix and. Yes. Yeah, you know it's good. It's football season. You can and then that sort of thing. But you know, and then you look forward to the next tour. We love it still. Yeah. You know? Then you got what? New, you uh, did you write an album while you were touring, and so it's going to be released uh, another one? No, actually, what we did is is uh, we we worked up some material while we were on the road during sound checks and stuff. And our next album, which we're almost finished with, I was actually just uh, at Ringo Starr's house yesterday, and he was playing drums on things. We'll never say, Frank. Exactly. Oh, I was at uh, Ringo Starr's yesterday. <laughs> Unless I was like breaking in. Or <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> well, he's a, That's cool. He's a, good, he, he's a really he's a good friend of mine, and so I asked him if he would play drums on one of the songs, and he did an, a, a fantastic job. But what we did is is. We kind of did a tribute to the blues because you know the blues is the foundation of what we do, and and I could play blues all night long and be be very happy doing that. So we went and found a bunch of songs that um, you know are not quite the mainstream blues songs that you've heard, re, you know, covered a million times, and we went in and did our own versions of it, and uh, and so we we did uh, we did it all old school. There's like no auto tune, no uh, no auto-tune. click oh. tracks. Yeah, we recorded it to two inch tape, you know, so we did it all. Just like they did back in the day, and played to get live, that sound. Yeah. yeah, played live in the in the room together and everything. So uh, we got a real authentic recording. And as we're opposed really to about like it. maybe a lot of people don't know this, when you go in and do an album, it's like you go in and do your guitar part or singing part. You go in and do your guitar part. The drummer does it separately, and then they piece it all together. A lot of times, that's how it's yeah. done. But there's a different feel when you're all there. The energy is different when you're Absolutely. all there doing the same thing. Yeah, we were all in the yeah. same room. I, I was singing in the same room. Of course, if you did a kick-ass guitar and you screwed up your vocal, you're like, oh, man, now we got to start all over. <laughs> you messed start up all over again. <laughs> 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 Kenny Wayne Shepard hanging out with us. Uh, yeah, you mentioned how uh, the auto-tune and how, I guess, how easy it is now for someone who has no talent whatsoever to put something together and computerize it to make it sound like, uh, like it's somewhat good for a certain audience mm-hmm. where I was reading about how you taught yourself to play guitar yeah. listening to songs hearing a note finding it on the guitar like rewind and and learning note by note yeah. from rewind and play and rewind and play what I just watched you do mm-hmm. he, there's no lesson in that he's n- n- yeah he's, you're self-taught yeah. He, he can't read music no 
<laughs> that's unbelievable. That's well, that, true yeah. love for music. So you get a guy like you who who taught himself to play like that. Then you get the person who has the the iMac and they got a Garage Band and they and they pump everything into it. And all of a sudden it's like I'm I'm a superstar. Yeah. And it's like no, you don't have any kind of heart, any kind of soul. And 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 this is what you bring. I mean, that's seriously. proof so, that that is just that's inside of you, right? That's something I think that you so. just were born with. I think so. But but. There, it also still takes a lot. I mean, I spent hours and hours yeah, when I was a kid to. practicing, and the guitar players call it woodshedding, you know. But just like, you know, all my friends were doing kid things, and I was locked up in my room for eight or nine hours a day just playing guitar. Well, that paid uh, off, because, you know. Well, I, I'm dying to hear it, because, like I said, I was eating turkey in the other room. I, I'd miss the sound check. So, oh, uh, so good. Yeah, what, what song are you guys going to like? Well, this is one that was off of our live record that came out a couple years ago, but it always comes off really well on acoustic. It's an old blues song that Muddy Waters helped make famous called King Bee. All right, here they are. I'm a king bee, baby. I'm busting around your hive. I'm a king bee, baby. Buzzing around your high Cause I can make you honey, baby Just let me come inside Well, I'm a king bee, baby Don't you want Oh my 
my God. Kenny Wayne Shepard. <laughs> Unbelievable. At the Nokia Theater this Saturday. Be sure and get your tickets to that. It's going to be the last show of the tour. Wow. Definitely. We're seeing It's like, yeah, just watching. It is so, it does. It's crazy it's, sitting here watching it live. It's surreal. It is crazy. You it's, guys are amazing. It's a blur. I think. Uh, really for that man, yeah. you should have seen how this guitar was going. So out of tune. <laughs> I yeah. saw you, but yeah. you made it. You, yeah. you stuck with, that's a true pro well, right you there. Gotta, you learn how to compensate, you know. You learn how to like. Boy, don't things, I know it. When things go wrong, <laughs> you got to figure out how to how to compensate without letting anybody know that Especially anything's going wrong. Without yeah. a net live. Yeah, they had, they had no idea. But see, there. we don't know that. You know, to, to us, it sounded amazing. Only you know that, oh, something's a little off here. What, what, what was like the, the, I mean, obviously, you know, they had, they had a string go crazy a little bit right there, but what's the craziest thing like during like your concerts that something that went wrong and that you just had to keep playing through that nobody knew about? Well, <laughs> stomach flu. There's been a lot of those, but. Uh, uh, this happened because it's so cold outside, and you bring the instrument into a warm place, and the temperature affects the instrument. So that's why this happened. Had no idea. You know, um, one time in, at the House of Blues in Chicago, a, a speaker actually caught on fire while yeah. we were playing. Oh. Yeah. Wow, yeah. a pyrotechnic a show. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> but what, one of the most awkward things, when we were opening up for the Rolling Stones, and we were in St. Louis, and we played this, the football stadium there, it's like 80,000 people. And they're going to hold the story right there and yeah. we'll tease people through the break and come back with you guys and you tell the story. Right on. All right, we'll leave it open up for Rolling Stones. 80,000 people. What happened at the Kenny Wayne Shepherd concert? More with the Kenny Wayne Shepherd when we come back. We are Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at 955KLOS.com. Now, to get the show in its entirety on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day. All you have to do is go to HeidiAndFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.